everybody. This is Graham Guthrie at the Trading 8 for 8 channel. Welcome to today's 30 minute workout. If you're interested in what's to come, please take a moment and click on the down arrow just below this screen. It's going to give us an idea of today's goals, muscle groups we're going to focus on, equipment needed, as well as the types of movements, sets, and reps. Take time to focus on your form above all else. As you get stronger, more confident, the pace will pick up. You can either match mine or push through it. If you like the day's workout, please like our video, subscribe to the channel, and share with your friends and family. Without further ado, let's go get it. Today's gonna be plyometric day, so we don't have, uh, don't need any equipment. Um, Take as much time as you need between movements, between rounds. The goal is going to be to get to about four rounds of the circuit that we go through, four exercises each. Um, a dare would probably will use a mat for you, although we don't want to kick it up. Um, actually, you might be all right without it. But anyway, um, let's get started here. So we're going to go pull it up. We're going to do shoulder circles to start. go 30 seconds forward 30 seconds backwards so we're gonna start small so down back and forward um, start small about shoulder to bottom of the chest height and we're gonna start to get a little bit bigger and by bigger I mean drop your hands lower finishing about shoulder height a little bit lower and then as we get to our big circles it's gonna be shoulders to hips shoulders to hips a watch for the next couple days so my 30 seconds is just an assumption basically feel it burn and then go a little bit longer all right relax now we're gonna go opposite direction start small Be a hot one today I know. sun's out bright one on this video get a little bit bigger A little bit bigger. Have more seconds. And relax. All right. So the first thing we're going to do for our warm up now is uh, we're going to do a deep squat. We're going to crawl out into a plank, do a push up for six reps. Okay. So all you want to do, get your feet, in the feet nice and wide because when we Come down, we want to be able to plant our hands, walk out to a plank, push up, bend the knees immediately, push back, I'm in my squat, and I come up. We're going to do that six times. Okay. Ready? Three, two, let's go. Sit back on those heels, plant the hands, get your push up, shoulders away from the ears. Now, Dare, if you want to come over a little bit, I still got room. One. Two. Common mistake is to not bend those knees immediately upon crawling back. Three. And then the other one would be to do back extension to come up. So remember, we want to sit back, chest forward, then drive up. Two more. Last one. All right, so now what we're gonna do is come to the floor. We're gonna do a uh, cat cow and some bridges. So cat cow, quadruped position. Knees under hips, hands under shoulders, knees hip distance apart, shoulders, sh or hands shoulders distance, shoulder distance apart. And then we're gonna move with the breath. So we're gonna breathe in and go into our cow, which means shoulders away from the ears, head comes up, tailbone points back and up, belly button towards the spine. And then when you exhale, we go in a cat, we tuck our tailbone underneath. So we drop our head 
and our shoulder blades protract. They go kind of towards the edge, edges of your body, your sides. Breathe in, reverse in the cow, and then just move with the breath once you got it. Really tuck that tailbone underneath, drop that head, get those shoulder blades moving to the outside. Breathe in. Go at your own pace. We're going to do another 20 more seconds here. So we're going to meet on our backs. We're going to do our glute bridges. 30 seconds or about 12 reps. Heels close to your butt, hip distance apart. Don't let the knees push in, push out. Get a nice squeeze in the glutes at the top. Don't let your butt rest on the ground between <coughs> reps. Third stride. One, two, three. Let's go. One. Two, three, breathe in on the way down, exhale on the way up, four, five, really try to squeeze your butt cheeks, six, as much as you can, five more, driving your weight through your heels, eight, Nine, got three more to do. 10, 11, last one, and 12. All right, so I think that's everything for the warm up. Uh, real quick, we're gonna stand, we're gonna do lateral lunges. So, Adair and I are gonna stagger. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to step out to the side. When I'm stepping, I'm stepping slightly forward. Think about half uh, a foot distance. So when my foot's forward and out, toes of my pivot foot, stationary foot, should be in line with that uh, arch of the forward foot. I'm driving my hips back, not knee forward, but hips back. Feel a stretch here. Drive your weight off that stepping heel, foot back. So we're going to go to the right for eight, left to left for eight three two and let's go get as low as you can feel that stretch and then lead with your heels try not to let the right toes point out four five six oh, get caught seven All right, so we're gonna take a step to your right. We're gonna do to the left, right. Three, two, one. Let's go. Watch your toes turning out of there. Two. That's it. Three. Four. Feel a nice stretch in that straightened right leg, inside of the thigh. I'm actually feeling it. Six. Through the back of my knee. Seven. Legs are a bit tight. All right, so the circuit today. Adair again, coming back after about a month off. So we're gonna offer some uh, substitutions, but the first movement, it's gonna be like this. It's gonna be a push up to side plank variation. So we're gonna go to one arm. If you have to do push ups from your knees, all we're gonna do, if that's push, knee push ups are your, your hardest challenge, you can't do any more. Just do those. If you can only do knee push-ups, but want additional work, we're gonna do shoulder taps after each um, push-up. We're doing 10. Next thing is going to be a curtsy lunge with speed skater. So there's gonna be a little bit of jumping in this workout. What we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna start uh, with plenty of room. We're gonna do 
two curtsy lunges, and then you're gonna fire off on the second one. Do two on one side, and you're hitting back and forth. I'm gonna go five back and forths, and then it's uh, a sit-up variation, and then a broad jump, which is jumping forward, and then we're gonna reverse lunge backwards into our starting position. So it's four movements, and we're gonna aim for four to five rounds. I don't have a watch, but we got about 15, 20 minutes, and then we're gonna get into our finisher. So um, if you're doing the push-up with me, your feet are gonna start about hip distance apart, maybe wider. And if you're following a dare, I'm gonna ask that she does from her knees, and then she's gonna do shoulder taps in between each rep. Okay. How's that sound? Good. Let's go. So, come down to the floor, find your plank, shoulders away from the ears, tuck that chin back towards your neck, don't let your head drop. 10 push-ups. If you're following me, you're gonna do a push-up and then rotate hips. Push-up, rotate hips, shoulders away from the ears the whole time. All right, three, two, one, let's get started. Doesn't matter what side you start, one. The rotation's a little bit weird today so on the knees, so I would say do shoulder taps. Oh. There you go. And then try not to rotate laterally as you do your shoulder taps. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. All right, so spatially this one's gonna get interesting for Adair and I. So curtsy lunge, you're stepping, we're gonna go to our right first, which means our left foot stepping back. We're gonna go down one, two, and we're gonna hop to the side. So maybe you and I go this direction for the movement, okay? okay. So Adair and I were gonna do some like synchronized swimming here. Um, on your second curtsy lunge, that's where we're gonna drive our weight to the other side. Find your balance. Give me two curtsy lunges. 10 total lunges. Five jumps. Let's get started. Three, two, and one. That's no, all right, you can do that direction. And then you're gonna jump to that side. So. I think spatially this is gonna be rough. Let's try it this way. Let's start both this side. So we're gonna step our right foot behind. Okay. Three, two, one. Down, go down again, and then jump. Left down, keep your foot backwards, and jump. Drive, that's right. You watch your balance here. Basically, we're a little tight. Let's do one more to this side. Get your lunges in. And we're done. All right. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do, Adair, if you wanna put your mat out, um, what we're gonna do, and she might have to alternate off of this, but we're gonna do sit-ups. So we're gonna go single leg down, single leg, and then double for five rounds. If you're not feeling that, Adair, mm -hmm. I'm gonna have you do plank to step out. So you're just gonna go, walk your feet out and back. Okay. But if you wanna try the sit-ups, let's go for it. All right. Laying back, legs out, three, two, one. Single leg, single leg. Double leg, one, one, two, 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 three, 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 four, four, 
four, big chest when you're up, five, 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 there we go. All right, and then broad jump. How did that feel for those? Yeah, I can't really lift my both feet off the ground, I didn't hold. Okay. So, uh, broad jump, what we're gonna do is start tall, hips back, your feet are gonna be, quick jump test is do a partial squat, jump, see how far apart your feet land. That's typical jumping distance for broad jumps or box jumps. So broad jump, come up, partial squat, swing your hands back, not knees forward, hips back, hands back, and then momentum forward, try to land Soften on the feet in a partial squat. Weight perfectly even. I dare you're gonna jump on this side of the couch. Uh, and then on our way back, we're gonna do reverse lunges until you find your way to where you're starting your jump from. Probably two or three. Okay. All right, 10 total broad jumps. Starting in three, two, let's go. And reverse lunge, step together, reverse lunge, back. Two. Three. Try not to let those knees, okay, then halfway on when you're jumping, when you're lunging. Nothing towards your midline, your center line. Seven. Oop. Land it backwards. Try to be nice and even. Oop. Forward on that one. I'm getting tired. I'm talking too much. Last one. There we go. All right, first round. We're gonna take about 30 seconds or so. Get back into our push-ups. So, water if you need it, towel if you need it. Otherwise, we're meeting on the floor for our 10 push-ups with either rotation or shoulder taps if you're not there. This round's gonna go a bit faster as I won't be explaining quite as much. Hopefully a dare and I have a rhythm down for those curtsy lunges. All right, push-ups when you're ready. Three, two, let's go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, ten reps. Curtsy lunge. So, step behind. Keep, when you're stepping backwards in there, keep that back foot back and then jump, okay? Okay. All right. Ready? Yep. Three, two, let's go. One, two, three, four. Jump. Five, six. Ooh, seven, eight, we'll make it 12, nine, 10. All right, now we go to our sit-ups. Again, the day you have that option to do the plank walkout. So 
five rounds, sit up, reach for each leg, then double leg counts as one round. I'm breathing heavy, ready? One, two, let's go. One, two, both. Two, two, push that mid back into the floor. Big chest when you come up. Three, 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 almost there. Four, 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 five, five, and five. All right, broad jump, probably the hardest one. Again, try to stay focused. Make sure every broad jump counts. Every lunge backwards is nice and balanced. 10 of them in three, two, let's go. If you don't have a ton of space, if you can't jump here in an apartment, people are below you. Forward lunge for two or three, and then reverse lunge it. What is this, a three? Yep. This is four. Five. Try to land nice and even. Nine. Ten. Last one. All right. A little bit of rest. Towel and water if you need it. We got time. At least one more round. And then I got a finisher if you're sticking around. All right. Push ups. Meet us on the floor if you're not there already. 10 total reps, shoulder taps. Or rotations. If you're with me, three, two, let's go. One, two. When you rotate, hips forward, stack those shoulders. Chrissy lunge for 12. Whew. Ready? Ready. Three, two, let's go. Trying to drop that back knee straight towards the floor. Jump. Don't let that front knee come forward. Five, six, seven, eight. eight. So again, because we're kind of in hollow body hold, when we're coming up, press mid back, low back into the floor, tuck your tailbone underneath, up towards the ceiling. Five rounds, three, two, let's go. One, finish with big chest. Three, two, two, and two. Three, 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 four, 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 four
four, four, and four, five, five, and five. Should have done less broad jumps. This is the one that kills me. Yeah. But we got them. Why not do them? All right. Ten broad jumps, reverse lunges. Go at your own pace. Focus on balance. Three, two, let's go. One. One. Back. Eight. Last. Nine. Last one. Ten. Ooh. All right. Bit of rest. Let's see what time we got. I want one quicker. One more round or finish? One more round. One more round. All right. Take your water, catch your breath, push ups, curtsy lunge, sit up, broad job. I need to do more cardio. Not riding my bike like I used to. All right. Push ups when you're ready. 10 total. Three, two, let's go. Two. Don't rush these. Get that rotation as best you can. lunge. Last 12. Three, two, let's go. One, two, jump. Um, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, on our backs. Later rounds getting easier. Doesn't mean I'm breathing easier, but five rounds, single, single, double. Three, two, and one. One, big chest, one down. Two, two, and two. Three, 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 four, 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 five, five, and five. Last broad jumps. I wipe the sweat out of my eyes here. Well, it's coming back, I'm sure. All right, ready, 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 ready. 10 jumps, reverse lunges, 
three, two, and one. One. Eight. Last two. Nine. Ten. Ooh. That's all she wrote. That's a wrap. Fantastic work this morning. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please reach out using the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I can with the best answer possible. If you enjoyed today's workout, please hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, share with your friends and family. If you're interested in one-on-one -on -one virtual training, I would love to take a few people on as clients. Please let me know. Again, comments, you can reach out. You can hit me up on Instagram at trading848.com. If you're interested in joining in these workouts live every day, get a little bit more consistency in your day, you can follow along on Instagram Live, 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time each weekday. I'm currently an out-of-work personal trainer, but if you're interested in donating, helping me out in these tough times, if you're able to, that'd be fantastic. You could reach me on Venmo at Graham Guthrie. I'll put it up right here. Again, continue working hard, remain positive, stay hydrated, be safe, and until next time, take care.